Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a general reading for a Facebook friend today. It is my first reading that I'm doing for this individual. He is a Leo. And I just want to see what is going on in his life currently. So as always, I will be selecting my usual nine cards and then in part two, I will be clarifying all the nine cards. And then in part three, I will be getting some general advice. All right, let's get the cards out first and then I'll go into the explanation. So you have the nine of cups reversed. Page of Wands reversed. Four of Cups nearly fell on the floor. Four of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Very interesting. Queen of Swords, wow, nice energy coming in here for you. Three of Wands, hmm. Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, and at the bottom of the deck, wowee, you have the Two of Cups. Alright, so... Let's put the Two of Cups aside. This is the general energy for the whole reading. And you have the Two of Cups, which is a beautiful romantic connection between you and another person. So I feel like this is definitely coming in for you, even if you're not seeing it yet. Um, it is also the overall theme of the whole reading. So even if it's not love coming in, it's it's a love situation going on here. So I just want to go a little bit into the explanation on how I do the reading itself. Because it is my first time reading for this person. So basically the first three cards refer to your recent past. So that is, let's say, any time from now, going back days, weeks or even months. But up to about a year, it doesn't go that far back. Then the middle row, the second three cards that I pull, they are that the cards that apply to your current immediate situation. So your present. And then the last three cards talk about the near future. So anytime from now, um, up to, let's say, weeks, months ahead but up to about a year it doesn't go further than that so let us jump right into the cards and try and get some clarity here well we'll only really get clarity in part two but i want to see what i'm i want to say what i'm seeing here so the nine of cups talks about when it's in the upright position it speaks about wish fulfillment it speaks about a wish that came true. It also talks about satisfaction, feeling fulfilled. When it's in reverse though, it's like you not quite happy about something. There's restlessness, there's dissatisfaction. I don't know why I said restlessness, because it's not the Nine of Swords. It's like the word restlessness just came up. There's something with regards to a missed opportunity, which we will have a look at in part two. But I'm definitely getting here that there's something you're wishing for, but it's not coming in. It hasn't come in yet. It's like when that one thing comes in, it will be your wish that you've always wished for. And when that thing comes in, you'll feel fulfilled, if that makes sense. It's something you're hoping for to complete you or complete your life, to bring you satisfaction and fulfillment. 
Right, next to that card you have Page of Wands in Reverse. So it's talking about a passionate message or declaration of some kind that also is not coming in. So you are perhaps wanting to send someone a message declaring feelings. This is just me going out on a whim. Or you could be waiting for someone to come in and declare their passion towards you. But it's in reverse, so it's not coming in yet. And it's left you in this position with the Four of Cups. It's like you, you're overthinking the situation a lot. You're in your head about it a lot. You're daydreaming, fantasizing, thinking about that one thing or that one person who's missing from your life. And I don't feel like it's like an ex relationship or anything like that. It's more like you're wanting a new person to come in. And in your present energy, that is just confirmed by the three cards we have here. Because we have you valuing what you have. It's a little bit contradictory and these cards come, come up together very often because like I said, when the Nine of Cups is in the upright position, it speaks about someone being satisfied, being grateful for what they have. And then this card also speaks about gratitude. But the difference here is that although you're feeling happy and satisfied in certain aspects of your life, certain areas of your life, it's kind of like you're still missing out on other aspects. Like there's something that is still missing or you see it as being missing. I feel like this is you saying I have a good life, I'm comfortable, but like I'm ready to share that with someone else. And when I get this person, I will treat them th in this way. I will value them. I will appreciate them. I'll be grateful for them. And you know what they say, if you're grateful for everything in your life, you attract more wonderful blessings because you're telling the universe that you are so ready to receive more. And the universe is listening. God is listening and will give you what you have been hoping and wishing for. And it looks like there is a new relationship coming in. If not, then it is the rekindling of an existing relationship. But your cup is overflowing here with love, with that Ace of Cups. I don't know if this person is a Queen of Swords. So they could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius female that you have a lot of love for. If not, then it is just someone who is a very good communicator, someone who is intellectual, someone who is direct, someone who is a, a dreamer and a thinker, or this is how you view the person as a dreamer and a thinker and someone who communicates very well. Then in your near future energy, you have here, first of all, the three of wands. So wands speak about passion, action, motivation, ambition, doing things, getting things done. But this is you perhaps looking into the future or you're looking into the distance thinking of someone who's perhaps at a distance from you, physical distance or emotional distance, but there's distance between you and this person. And with the three, there could be more than two people involved in a certain situation. So the person, if there is a person that you admire or you're thinking that you may have feelings for this person, they may already be involved with someone. I'm just saying that because of the number three here. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like the other person is already involved with someone else. This is hard because, you know, you have such a positive energy with this. And then the Ace of Cups. And then you have like a bittersweet thing with the third person. So I'm just going out on a whim and I'm just mentioning all the different meanings and possibilities. 
I'm not saying that this person is not your true person. It's actually the opposite. They might even leave that other person for you. I don't know because the wheel of fortune is here. So it speaks about karma and certain situations coming to an end in order for new situations to begin. But it's like there's divine timing at play. So you might want to rush things and the universe is saying certain things cannot be rushed. First of all, certain things are out of your control. Certain things cannot be rushed. This could be your person. The person who is really meant for you. But like I said, divine timing is at play. And we have here the judgment card as well, which speaks about transformation and rebirth and an awakening of sorts. So I don't know if it's just saying that this person that you're interested in needs some time to realize what is going on in their life and get their bearings and get their things all together, get their act together, get their life organized before they can enter into this relationship with you. We will see in part two if we can get some more information. But so far it is looking very good. It is not negative at all. We have some really positive cards here. Thanks very much for watching. Please stay tuned for part two.